just tried me to love someone again. For a long time, there hadn't been a woman at birth history discussed, so we're starting part 14 right now. So, when did the Roman Empire actually fall? Many people believe 476, but that's only the Roman Empire. We have an em a Roman Empire that gone. <laughs> And call me this is 476, and this is the Bible done and Bible. No, why a bull? No. I, I, I want to be that bull now. No, I am polished. Get out. See how Biden and I'm, the Bible done and Bible got 476 out of their way, so they survived a few 900 years. <clears throat> Till their death in 1453. But there were two other sons of Constantine Palaiologos. Their names were Thomas and Andreas. And then Andreas was born in 1453 and died on his 49th birthday. But he reigned six months after that. But now that's not it. Andreas was actually the son of Thomas, not Constantine. So dispute, disputes Thomas and Constantine. Thomas died on May 12, 1455, no 1465. But he was a despot of the Maori. So after 1453, how does thing could that even happen, guys? A Byzantine Empire after 1450s, but they were not really Byzantine emperors. He was actually crowned before 1453 and 1428, but if we count, it will be 1453. Not interrupting the Byzantine Empire. He was desperate till 1460, but died a few years later. This year is May 12, 1465. And he is also related to Ivan the Terrible. Was, there was one man remaining, and his name was Andreas. Right now, I'm Googling. So I see that he died on January 17, but 1502. So if he was the Byzantine Empire, he would be emperor from 1460 to 1502. But then, how could a Byzantine Empire last that long? But that's what it is. Till 1402, when it actually abolished. And that answers the question. Bye. Except for Helena Palaio.
Valentina was born in the desperate age. Bye. Please like and subscribe.